Yo guys, welcome back to another video on the channel, and today I'm going to show you how to get gold and diamond pistols nice and easily in Black Ops 6. But before we do get into today's video, if you guys aren't around, be sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications, turn on if there's any more videos on the channel. If you do enjoy it, smash thumbs up, and let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below, but let's jump straight into it right now. Okay guys, so what we are going to do is come to our pistols, and I got my first pistol done yesterday. A lot of them do have very, very similar challenges, but we'll go through all the challenges anyway. The first one, of course, is going to be to get 100 headshots with the pistol, and for me, this was the most annoying one. I don't know what it was with this pistol, but the headshots were so frustrating to get. I don't know why they just really weren't working for me, but what I realized was the best thing to do, guys, was of course play hardcore. With headshots, you should always be playing hardcore, but what I was actually doing with a pistol was playing the game mode of the hardcore face-off mosh pit, which which is 3v3 maps, but then it has 6v6 teams on it. So it's a very hectic map. There's a lot going on. But the reason I've done this is because everything is a lot closer together. It's much, much easier to be hitting those headshots and just overall just being very, very accurate with the headshots. And the one thing that I do actually want to go ahead and do next time I will definitely be doing, I'm next up, I'm going to do the Grahova. And the reason for this is if you do take a look at the optics on here, we do have a, a 3.5 times optic, which I think is going to make the headshots much, much easier with a pistol. So if you do have this unlocked, I definitely recommend you use it. And if you don't yet have it unlocked, maybe go ahead and unlock it on the Grakova at level 20 just so you can get it unlocked because I think it's going to make it so much easier to get those headshots, especially when you are playing hardcore because a lot of the time, I just couldn't quite see far enough to get those headshots. I was just a little bit too zoomed out. I mean, I was getting like chest shots or I was just shooting over the head. I think this is definitely going to make a big difference to getting the headshots. So once you do unlock it, I definitely, definitely recommend you do give it a go. And like I said, the game mode you want to be playing for headshots is going to be hardcore. And if you can, if you want to, you can play whatever hardcore map you choose. But for me, I just like the mosh pit one because it is just a lot of a lot of close combat fights so for me that's my favorite one too but you guys can play whatever map you want to play like i said just maybe if you want to play a slightly bigger map do put that three times five optic on because it is going to make it slightly easier to get done so that's the headshots and once we've done the headshots you know these are sort of going to be they shouldn't be too difficult to do really they shouldn't be too too difficult again just make sure you are aiming for those headshots it's one shot to the head in hardcore it should be nice and easy to get done we've then got to get 15 kills shortly after switching weapons this camo is so bugged it's ridiculous you're just going to have to keep running around with your primary and then just when you're about to shoot someone, flip it out, get your pistol on, and then take them out of the game with that because that's the only way it's going to work. I think you need to see the hot swap medal appear on screen for it to track. However, I still saw that pop up on screen. It didn't count. Um, the amount of times I swapped from my primary weapon to my secondary, and within about two seconds, I'd got a triple kill, and only one of the kills could count, would count. This is one of the most infuriating challenges you guys can do, and I I'm just telling you, you just need to run around, tap in YY, or run around with your primary out, and then you can just switch to your secondary weapon and take them out that way. Just This is going to just be one of them ones that just track when it feels like tracking and tracks when it doesn't feel like tracking so unfortunately it's going to be one of them it's going to be a very tedious one just run around with your primary around then when you do see someone you can quite easily take out get into a little bit of cover swap to your secondary then take that shot and take them out of the game and get that one done. Like I said, it's going to be a bit time consuming because they're not tracking fully properly. The next one's going to be 50 eliminations with a suppressor equipped. Again, easy to do. Just make sure you've got a suppressor on. Again, very easy to do. Just make sure you've got a suppressor equipped. Run around the face-off mosh pit game mode and take people out of the game. Very easy. You've only got 50 kills. And then, of course, gold for the double kills. Again, I recommend that face-off mosh pit because the amount of times you can get triple kills, quad kills, five kills, just in the row very, very easily on that mode is very, very good. Again, it is a bit of a hectic mode because it is a 3v3 map with 6v6 on it it is very hectic there are times you might die over and over and over again before you can get a couple of kills but i'm telling you getting double kills on this is so easy i've done all of my pistol double kills in one game so i definitely recommend doing that and then let's take a look at the other pistol challenges, guys. So we've got the Grakova here, which, of course, is going to have all the same challenges. So once we are here, the camo challenges for this are to get 50 or 30 hip fire kills, sorry. So what you are going to want to do is make sure you've got a laser, a rear grip, anything that helps with hip fire XE. Make sure you've got that on and just get really close to your opponents, just running and around your opponents. This is full auto as well, so it means you can just play it like an SMG. If you're playing controller, turn off automatic tactical sprint. Otherwise, if you are trying to hip fire, your controller might start making you attack sprint and then your hip fire is not going to work. So turn that off put good hip fire attachments on just run around the map hip firing everyone you do come across again do it in hardcore it's going to take one to two bullets to take your opponents out which is going to make it much much easier to get that one done next up is going to be 50 eliminations with the enforcer combat speciality so what you need to do guys is come to your perks and then for your speciality, you need the Enforcer, which means in every single perk slot, you need to make sure you have got red perks available. And then once you have done that, as you can see, you are going to have the Enforcer speciality available there. So the Grakova is very, very easy to do. Headshots is going to be the same. You know, it's going to be across the same for headshots on every single weapon that we're talking about. And double kills will be the same on every single weapon that we are talking about. Then we've got the GS45, guys. If we take a look at the special kills for this one, we are going to have to get 30 point blank kills. And then we are going to get 15, 15 kills shortly after switching weapons, which we spoke about already. So we 
then he's going to depth on that one. But for point blank, again, that face off mosh pit in hardcore is going to be very, very easy to do. Just literally run at everything you see. Every time you see an opponent, full sprint at them, slide at them, dive at them, whatever you've got to do to get right next to them and then just take them out of the game. And a perk that I definitely recommend running for this, guys, is going to be Ninja. And the reason you want to run Ninja is because you're not going to have any footsteps. Or if you do, they're going to be very, very quiet, making it a lot less likely your opponent is just going to turn around and hear you coming from a long way off. I mean, it's much easier to sneak up on your opponents, get right next to them and take them out the game when you are literally point blank range with them. So again, not too difficult to do. Headshots we've already spoke about. We've already spoke about the kills after swapping weapons. We've already spoke about double kills. So the only one that's different there is going to be the point blanks. And then the final pistol challenge, guys, is going to be the Strider 22. And for the camos on this one, we are going to have to get ourselves 50 kills while moving. This is super easy to do. You can just remain ADS. And as long as you are slightly moving forwards, slightly moving backwards, slightly moving left or right, as long as you are slightly moving in one direction, these are going to count. So all you got to do is remain ADS. And every time you're about to get into a gunfight, just make sure you keep moving, whether it's forwards, backwards, left or right. Just make sure your character is still slightly moving and then you can take them out of the game in that way. It's going to do that 50 times. You're basically just going to have to get 50 kills, to be honest. It's going to be very, very easy to do. And then after that, guys, it's 50 eliminations with the Recon Combat Speciality Active. So for this one, again, same as the Enforcer one, we're going to come down. Recon is going to be all blue perks. So we're going to go ahead and make sure we've got all blue perks on and that will give us the uh, that will give us the Recon Speciality right there, guys. So that is exactly how you're going to get gold and diamond pistols in Black Ops 6. Very, very easy. If you guys have enjoyed today's video, be sure to smash thumbs up. If you've got any more questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll answer them as fast as I possibly can for you guys. And make sure you are subscribed with notifications so I don't miss any more videos on the channel. Hope you have an amazing rest of the day and I'll catch you on the next one in a bit. Peace.